Hey everybody, we're back. And guess what? I am so excited, like ridiculously giddy to share with you my news. And guess what? I actually just also realized as I started recording this that um, I didn't even turn on my lighting in this office. But you know what? It's okay. I think I shared with you guys last time as I started recording that I am um, in the process as I've as I've gotten back to YouTubing, um, that I'm testing out a whole bunch of new equipment. Um, I'm actually putting together in the bedroom above this office, a whole new YouTube studio. And um, so in the future, we won't be, I won't be recording video in this room. I'll be recording video in that studio. Um, I'm having uh, my friend, James, he's coming to install a whole bunch of stuff up there. So it's kind of a mess right now, but anyway, <laughs> I'm looking right straight ahead at me at my uh, ring light and it is not turned on. But as I said, as I, as I looked at it, I'm like actually looking at my iPhone going, you know what? This actually looks a little bit better than it did the first time when I was testing out this new microphone here. So anyway, I'm just being completely transparent with you guys and letting you know what's going on. Testing out new microphones, testing out new software. Uh, right now I'm recording on my iPhone, which I didn't used to do back in the early days. You probably don't really give a shit about any of this stuff. Let's get right to the point. You know what I'm excited about, you guys? Guess what? I got on the scale this week and not only did I hit my goal weight, I surpassed my goal weight. Everybody, everybody, everybody. You guys, this is a big deal. Um, if you have been tuning into, so let me think about this. I launched my YouTube channel. Let me just keep it real with you. I am having a Diet Pepsi unapologetically. Sponsorship, please. It's one of those things that I'm just not even going to try to give up. Your girl occasionally has pff, once a day. Okay, three times a day. I'm just kidding. Um, I really do. I normally do not have soda during the day. I normally, um, seriously, I'm, this is where I'm being serious. I do normally, seriously, trying to, trying to articulate today. I'm just so sidetracked by the fact that uh, I surpassed my goal weight. And I am now, at this moment, 137, 137. Um, but uh, I do. I normally save my soda consumption for dinner. But uh, I just, I had a massive craving for it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm allowed to. I'm going to allow myself to. <sighs> so anyway, um, today I thought that I would just come on here I, I was looking at my YouTube channel before I came on here to shoot and I was looking at it and I'm like, wow, my last video was January 11th. So there have been like two weeks where I haven't published a video and there's just been, <laughs> there's just been a lot going on. And so I thought I would do a kind of like a welcome back Kelly video where I updated you on, you know, hey, we've hit a milestone, um, kind of wrap up my six months of keto you know, I've obviously hit the goal, wrap up. You know, I kind of did that in my last video where I shared with you, hey, I'm reflecting back on the first six months. Here's what I what I see back. That's what I shared in that last video. I'll link it up in, in the comments below where I was reflecting back and saying, you know, there were definitely for me, when I look back retroactively, kind of three phases as far as my eating. I definitely learned some lessons and there were definitely for me when I look back and I look back on my um um gosh I can't I, again I'm having trouble picking out the words that are in my brain right now when I look back on my uh photos my progress photos you know that I just took along the way you can see that there was you know particularly the first two months it's like my my weight loss was like and then there was this, it was like this, it wasn't a sudden like over overnight shedding, but there was just this period where I went from like June, excuse me, I started, I started June 1st, June and July, 
And then that first week of August, when, when Steve and I went to Park City, there's a, a selfie I took where that was the first time I remember looking in the mirror going, wow, at my, like at my hips. That's when I really started to notice, like my body was changing shape. Um, and from then on, things were different. And so the, the points that I saw a difference were when I really made a, a noted difference to stop snacking, when I made a noted difference to, I mean, I really had always been doing the ketones drinks two times a day, but when I really stuck to that and then um, cut out the snacking, because there, there was a time where I was having the, the ketone drinks two times a day, but I was still allowing myself to have nut butter and snacks. And like right now, I just, you guys, I, I just don't snack. It's so rare that I do. And the only thing that I really snack on, in fact, I have this here because I'm about to order more. I don't know if you can see this. Is this, I'll link this up in the comments. Uh, this is a company called Keto Farms. These are maple candied pecans. Um, I had some non-keto version of this. We bought some at uh, Costco. Um, for a Christmas party, some candied pecans. And I absolutely knew they weren't keto. I absolutely knew they had sugar in them. I absolutely knew that I was indulging, but I let myself have of the non-keto version over Christmas, like two or three at a time, you know? And I absolutely, again, I absolutely knew there were carbs. I absolutely knew, but like, I was like, that's okay if I'm having two or three at a time. Cause I remember I looked up how many carbs there were and it was something like if you had uh, a fourth of a cup, it was 20 carbs. So I figured if I had two or three at a time, I was, you know, it was probably like one carb per nut or something like that. So I let myself have literally like two or three a day. Problem is I broke out in bumps on my neck. And for me, that alerted me to the fact that I was having something with corn in it. I am highly reactive to corn. Sure enough, I looked on the back of the package and it had corn syrup in it, so I couldn't have any more, which was good because they were highly addictive. Sugar. Um, ever since I had those, though, I got a hankering. Sugar. Um, and I, I tried to make a keto recipe of these types of things. They tasted like shit. Um, so I ended up finding these. Um, they're very good. Um, again, I tried to make them not worth my time, so I will link these up. This is the only thing that I would say I eat between meals and sometimes uh, after dinner when Steve and I are watching TV. I will occasionally have some of, like I'll have a packet of these. What I like is a packet of these is, I'm so old, 160 calories. So it's a nice serving, it's healthy fats. I should just go ahead and tell you the macros if that's helpful. Oh God, my eyesight has gotten so bad. Uh, eight carbs, two protein, and 18 fat. So um, that's that. So um, let me just wrap up for you guys my, my weight loss. Some comments there, some reflections. I sound like Mr. Rogers. Let's reflect. Um, and then what are my plans? Because, you know, I do, I'll tell you where I'm at right now. You know, I do, I do, I hit my goal weight now that I'm here at my goal weight. And I, this is exactly what I thought. Um, I, I can say that I still have some weight I would like to lose. I did think that this would happen when I got here and no, I don't have some kind of unhealthy, oh, I'm gonna get too skinny, <laughs> no. Um, I have no desire to be skinny, skinny, skinny. Um, so I'll tell you about that and then I'm just gonna, um, as we close up here today, I'll just wanna tell you what's coming up here on the YouTube channel because I've made some big changes in my life life, in my business life. You're gonna see a lot more of me here and I certainly want you guys to know what's coming and uh, that is that. So um, like I said, 
you know, last six months, I've been keto. Um, I've been using the word keto diet. Somebody on Twitter was giving me shit about that. Um, when I say keto diet, again, I don't consider this to be a diet. This is definitely what I consider to be my lifestyle. Even though I've hit my goal, I'm not going, I'm not going back to the way I ate. In fact, I actually just had, which reminds me, I need to leave myself a note to schedule this. Um, hold on. I uh, schedule Dr. Harper. Um, I just had my uh, biannual consult with my doctor. Uh, where I had my blood work done and I had my discussion with my doctor. Um, I, even though I have been keto and dramatically changing my diet for six months, I still have some pretty significant insulin issues. So what we are going to be doing is I'm going to be purchasing a glucose monitor and probably using that. I'm not quite sure I understand how that works, but my understanding is it literally is going to be measuring your blood glucose am i saying this correctly your glucose right after you eat meals so for example when i eat a carb like a potato or rice or or the carbs that i am eating it will directly measure how that's affecting my glucose how that's affecting my blood sugar again this is my understanding of it i could be completely wrong um but she does want me to see so that we can further tweak my um my diet so that i can further improve my um insulin blood sugar situation because it was not as ideal as she would like it to be um a lot of my blood work results showed really good stuff it was nice to hear her say this is perfect this is perfect this is perfect this is perfect um there was some stuff it was not good. Um, I am low on iron. Um, I am, uh, I have to get my, some of my testosterone retested, um, cause it didn't show up. Um, I remember iron being a thing. Vitamin B was a thing. Um, and, and I will, I will do a blog post over at kellyalexa.com and go into the things that, that we're, we're addressing. Um, a lot of it, uh, we're addressing via supplementation. So I'm going to take the email that they sent to me and everything that we're addressing, and I'll put that into a blog post further. Here's an update for you guys. I will be interviewing my doctor, Dr. Ruthie Harper, um, and talking about what we did and and why she having her explain why keto works i mean you guys have heard me explain it here on the youtube channel but certainly it's going to be a lot better for her to explain from a from her doctor medical perspective why did she put me on keto why is keep you know from her perspective from from her medicinal knowledge and certainly from her she has a lot more of the data points to be able to explain um and and i'd also like her to explain why why did my body get to the point and why it's not just my body but so many women's bodies why do our bodies get to the point where they stop understanding how to lose fat i would like her to be able to explain that so she has agreed to be a guest on my podcast which i have just restart it again there's one episode up another one episode another episode i'm recording after this so i will link that up below make sure you head on over there and subscribe if you've never listened before we already have close to 350 episodes live half a million downloads get your ass over there and start listening because there is a ton of free information over there on a lot of these topics on keto on hormones on adrenal fatigue on fitness on health i mean everything that you probably tune in and follow me for get on over there and start listening and then there's a lot more good information that is coming um there will not be a lot of overlap i'm making sure going forward that what i cover here you know is is going to be different than what i cover there it's going to be different than what's going to be got on the facebook lives it's going to be different than what's going to be on the blog so i keep everybody interested you know what i'm saying it's going to be strategic um 
So that's very exciting. Uh, I definitely think that is going to be a tremendously, I don't think, I know, that will be a tremendously valuable um, interview. It'll be an hour-long interview with uh, my doctor, Dr. Ruthie Harper. So make sure you head on over there, get subscribed, um, and again, listen to some of the episodes that are live. Of course, you can also alternatively just go to thekellyoshow.com and subscribe over there. All the episodes and the show notes are there if you prefer to listen that way, um, and you can do that as well. So um, again, six months in, I have lost 27 pounds, 35 inches off my body. I'm 5'5". Five, five. I started off, I was 164. Um, and I am now one, I almost said 127, 137. I would guess based on looking in the mirror, you know, um, my body composition has changed a lot. I would think that I could probably lo lose, I, I don't know. I, I, just don't, I just don't wanna say X amount of pounds because no, you know, it's one of those things like if I say, oh, I could lose another 10 pounds, I'm going to get people that are going to criticize me. And it's, it's not that I really care. It's not that I can't take criticism. Uh, that's not it. I'm just saying like, I don't want to set a bad example. Um, I, I still have a little bit of certain areas where I could lose more fat I have no desire to get skinny. I really don't. So that's what I'm saying is um, I think my body will lose a little bit more fat, but I really don't care what the scale says. I just don't. Um, it just feels so good to feel good, to feel great in clothes, to feel confident naked. Um, on that note, what are my goals for the future? Um, I think I've shared with you guys, and I think I've shared in most of the videos that I've recorded here, um, throughout my reverse diet, um, and, and most recently, um, I have not been doing a lot of working out. And for those of you who have, who are, um, native to my channel or have followers of me for a long time, you're probably like, Kelly Alexa, not working out. You know, I'm a fitness fanatic, a fitness fiend. It was just, when I was doing the reverse diet, I was specifically told, and I followed what I was told because it was more for health reasons. I was told no cardio, no, no high impact, high intensity working out because you have to really bring your adrenals back down, you have to heal. So I was very specifically told no cardio, the only cardio you can do is walking 10,000 steps a day. And then for weightlifting, you can do slow, methodical weightlifting. Like, that's it. Or you can do, you know, like non-high jumping working out. So I did more like bar workouts. That's when I first started tr dipping my toe in the water with Tracy Anderson workouts. Um, it was a very different time for me because on one hand, here I am eating more. I was fluffier. I didn't feel good in my body. I wasn't doing cardio, I wasn't sweating. When, when, and then you're, you know, mentally and physically, your body is not getting the endorphins going, the adrenaline going. You're physically not moving, you're not used to moving. So you kind of just get in this habit of not moving and grooving. And, and I think just my, it was just really weird for me to realize that I started to, to it was like I was stepping outside my body. I started to see like it became a habit for me. It became very easy to get into this, well, this is what I do. I, I don't work out. I'm just walking and I'm just not working out. And then, then there was a time period where I wanted to get back into working out and then I had migraines again. And so then it became, that was my reason for not working out. So you guys, I'm just telling you, there was all of this stuff that has happened for me over the last year that it kept me from working out. And then when, and then the last part was, as I tried recently to start getting back into working out, there was a missing link where I, I, I kind of forgot, wow, there's been all this time that I haven't worked out. I've lost a lot of cardio capacity. I've lost a lot of strength. I'm also keto now, so I don't have any, a lot of carbs for energy. My diet is different now. 
maybe I should take it easy transitioning back into working out. I didn't think about that. So every time I went to work out again, I would go up into my workout room, plop in a Kathy Friedrich CD, put in an advanced workout and go work out for an hour. And then in my workout, I would be tired and kind of getting my ass kicked. And after the workout, later that day, I would feel like I had to go take a nap and I would have like a headache, a pounding headache, or almost feel like I was getting a migraine. And I would feel so shitty after the day, the day of I, after my workout, like I felt just like I'd gotten just beat up. And this happened every time I did a workout that then the next day I would be scared to work out again because I'm like, I don't want to feel that way again. So it became this very confusing thing. I finally got to the point where I actually reached out to Kathy Friedrich and I said, here's my situation. How do I start transitioning back, in, back into working out? Long story long, she said, you have to take it a lot easier than you think. You need to do easier workouts. Give yourself longer breaks between workouts. You need to stretch before your workouts and after your workouts. Like your body is just, and you have to take into consideration your diet. You know, all of these things that I hadn't done before. So I am changing the kind of workouts that I'm doing. I actually am really, I, I told you before, that uh, when I was in my reverse diet, I tried Tracy Anderson workouts, workouts that I had made fun of before for years, just like I, in my head, scoffed at and laughed at keto. Now I'm keto for life and it's transformed my body. I used to laugh at Tracy Anderson and think that it was such a joke. Let me tell you something. Tracy Anderson workouts are not a joke. Number one, they have the best music on the planet. Number two, they are intense. I am now a Tracy Anderson subscriber, and it's probably 75% of the workouts that I'm starting to do now. I've, I've been doing them before, but it's kind of the vibe that I'm feeling that I want to do right now. I'm mixing in some other workouts as well, but I'm really feeling like this is my vibe right now, and I'm okay with that. Like, I'm okay that I'm not Jim Rat Kelly like I was before. I'm okay with it. So... In summary, six months of keto transformed my life. I am now leveling up and getting back to working out because um, I, I feel the loose skin situation. I really feel the need to build up some muscle underneath. Um, there absolutely will be, based on what I just said, it, I won't only be doing Tracy Anderson. I will absolutely be doing some lifting weights. Um, I will be doing, I would say, minimal cardio, not a ton of cardio. Based on everything I know, excessive cardio is just not good for the hormones. Um, it's just not something I plan to do a lot of um, at all. Um, I will keep you guys updated on what I learn from my doctor and my blood work. Um, and then lastly, just to wrap up, like I said before, you're going to see a lot more of me here. Um, I have been planning and hoping and dreaming. I know this might sound funny to all of you guys uh, for the last two or three years as I've been running um, two different businesses that I founded. I have been really, really feeling a pull and, and, and wanting to... Um, be a solopreneur. And for those of you that are wondering what the hell that is, um, you know, you can be an entrepreneur who founds a business like I did. I founded a company called Fitfluential and then I founded Socially Fit Services. And both of those were where I was running companies with employees. And that's great. And I can do that. You know, I can do that with my hands tied behind my back, but I don't want to do that anymore. I realized all of this time, most recently, I just, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't get joy out of doing that. I don't get joy out of having clients anymore. I don't, um, I just don't. I, 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 I have that talent. I have that capability. But what I really love to do is to take what I've learned and help women over 40 optimize their hormones and get fit. It pains me when I see women going through what I went through with not being able to lose weight and, and feeling a stranger in their own body when their hormones start to change. 
I want to save women from taking years and years and years and years and years to figure things out. I want to help them learn what I've learned and feel and look as great as I feel and look. And, and I know that might sound really shallow the way I just said it. It didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but to, to be age 52 and to feel and look your greatest and to be going into these decades of your life and to be as excited as I am, that's what I want for every woman, as opposed to so many women I see who are tired, who their relationships are going to pot because they have no libido, they can never sleep, they have mood swings, they have skin problems, their hair is falling out, they have no energy, they can't lose weight, they're working out for hours, sometimes several hours a day, they're going to their doctor, their OBGYN, they're begging for help. And these doctors, OBGYNs, endocrinologists are telling them the dumbest things. They're putting them on the pill. They're putting them on spironolactone. They're putting them on Xanax. They're putting them on statin drugs. I could go on and on and on. These are the women that I want to help. And these are the women that I can help with information, with education, and certainly with some of the products that I'm putting together. I'm finalizing my hormonal happiness, that's going to help a lot of women. I'm finalizing a digital online course that's going to be launched later this year. Um, and certainly there are products that, that I'm going to be offering and selling that I can help women. But I have made a shift in, in, my, in my business life. And now it's going to be Kelly O solo. I'm focusing on my blog. I'm focusing on my podcast, I'm focusing on my YouTube channel and serving my audience. And this has been something that I've wanted to transition to for several years. And I'm finally doing it. And it's really, really beyond exciting um, for me because um, I finally gave myself permission to do it. So welcome me back. Welcome me back, folks. Welcome me back. Let's just do a group hug. Here we go. I have no idea how long this video is. I went, went much longer as is typical for Kelly Alexa. Um, I went much longer than usual, but I gave you the update on the, on, on my keto on my six months on reaching my goal. Let me know what questions you have. Um, I gave you my update on the fact that you're going to see a lot more of me. Please forgive me for the fact that the last two weeks, you know, what's gone on. Um, there's just been a whole lot going on here. We got a new puppy. We had some, um, construction going on at our house. That's a long story, but there was just stuff going on and I just I had I had stuff going on at the house and we were I was just like I have to give myself a pass but th but now I'm back and and this is going to be a big big year so um I will see you guys today is Tuesday I will see you guys on Thursday let me know what questions you have on anything and uh that's it peace out I will see you guys tomorrow I mean Thursday Pfft. Good grief. sometimes I don't know my head from my ass Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you'd like more information on keto and my keto journey, my weight loss success, there's plenty more videos in my keto playlist. Check it out. And of course, make sure you're subscribed. I will see you guys next time.